All right, everybody, welcome back for game four of week one of the DPL between Wiggly Tufts Guild and Legion of Boom. This game we have Palkia 62 against Amel in Scarlet and Violet. I should probably mention which format we're in for each of these games. I haven't been doing that up until now. I did mention Swish, that we had two Swish games in a row, game one, game two. So hopefully you guys were able to keep up with that. And obviously the last game was Scarlet and Violet. There was Terra and everything. So I'm just gonna mention what these games are ahead of time in the video. But I also played with some settings. This is a new day so uh, I adjusted some colors and stuff positioning of stuff on screen so these recordings should look a little bit better than they've been looking not that they look terrible but I wanted them to be a little bit more crisp so that's it that's what you get on screen that's what we have today but anyway we have this game here so this game is interesting we have a Terra Latias against I believe their Terra King Gambit Terra Latias uh, we struggled to figure out what set we wanted to run here the one we ultimately settled with uh, at the end of the week almost like a day before this game happened Happened, actually came in really clutch and was really important in this game. So here we go. Let's check it out. So we have Palkia leading off with Latias against the Azelf. Uh, we're going to immediately Terra and go for a Draco Meteor. And as you can see, we are Scarfed because we're faster than the Azelf. And we get a one hit KO with a critical hit. So very huge turn for us. And we're going to be able to apply a lot of pressure with this Latias later in the game. So King Gamut comes in to revenge us, goes for an Iron Head Terra Fairy, uh, and gets immediately paralyzed on our Zapdos, which is Rocky Helmet. So that's huge for us. We're going to go for a Volt Switch here on the Raging Bolt, get in our Great Tusk, double into Primarina, trying to catch their Great Tusk, I guess. And uh, we're going to actually, I think we were trying to catch, yeah, it must have been Tusk, right? There was nothing else that was really going to come in. Uh, maybe testing for an air balloon somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, our Primarina is going to flip turn on the obvious Swalot. Swalot's uh, here, obviously, to check the Primarina. Uh, there's not much else it would be here for. Maybe Meowskarada's Grass Stab, right? Uh, stuff like that. But anyway, we're going to get off a flip turn here, and Latias is going to come in and be able to click Psychic freely because the Terra King Gambit is now Fairy type instead of Dark and Steel. So Psychic is a very free click into this team now. As you're going to see, the Raging Bolt comes in and takes 38%. We're going to go into Primarina on Draco Meteor, and uh, we are going to be able to Moonblast here, get off some damage on the Swalot, lower its special attack, and go for another Flip Turn. We're taking Rocky Helmet Chip. I don't know if I agree with Flip Turn necessarily uh, that turn. Like, if you're going to get out anyway, you know that you're faster than the Swalot, you might as well hard switch. Uh, and we end up going Latias, catching a Toxic, no big deal. Latias is still very useful here. Obviously, the Swalot is Protect, so we're going to take uh, quite a bit of Chip here. But like we said, Psychic is completely free. As you see, Gambit takes 41%. It reveals to be leftovers. I think that happened earlier in the game, but regardless, uh, we're going to get in Zapdos here, and we're going to go for Eerie Impulse on their uh, Raging Bolt, which doubles in, and it ends up being Clear Amulet, and this is an interesting tech because uh, this matchup specifically is probably going to happen a lot in the DPL, Zapdos versus Raging Bolt, and Raging Bolt is kind of forced into running Clear Amulet because Eerie Impulse is a very good counter to Raging Bolt. It just lowers its special attack by two, and Zapdos can essentially just wall it. Stay in until Raging Bolt is minus six and then go into something else to take care of it. So very cool tech here and Clear Amulet is a great counter tech uh, to Eerie Impulse. So uh, really nice that they saw this in prep. Uh, obviously we hadn't seen this um, happen yet. I think there was an earlier matchup in the week that had Zapdos against Raging Bolt and Clear Amulet was also used there. So that's really interesting. I think they maybe picked up on that and, and slapped on Clear Amulet into their Raging Bolt. But regardless, uh, Raging Bolt is going to be able to get off a free Calm Mine here as we try to Eerie Impulse. And then we're going to go for a Volt Switch to chip it just a little bit. Get in our Primarina on Draco Meteor, which is huge. And right here we reveal to be Assault Vest as we live that Discharge. Go for a Moon Blast. Raging Bolt nearly dies. Uh, and it's now at 10% and it can't really do much as Meowskarata comes in to revenge it. Thunderclap wouldn't do all that much. Obviously, we are grass type still, so they are going to switch out. Amel's going to go out into the Swalot, catch a knockoff. Sticky Hold actually makes it so that our knockoff will kill the turn after. There's no roll that happens here because the uh, Swalot ends up holding onto its item, and it was Rocky Helmet, so as you guys can see, we are obviously protective pads. We don't take damage from the uh, from the knockoff, from the Rocky Helmet when going for knockoff. The Great Tusk comes in and ends up being on a balloon, which is pretty important. We got to break that. Uh, so that our great tusk can actually hit this with um, with 
uh, earthquake or headlong rush later on and the entire team is grounded outside of that so we definitely want to get rid of this balloon so we're going to u-turn we're going to pop the balloon and we're going to go hard into zapdos here as stone edge ends up critting us zapdos's only real role here was to get like additional chip on the king gambit which could click terror blast anyway which wouldn't make contact and to check this great tusk so i don't think the stone edge crit matters too much as we're able to now get in latias go for a psychic pick, pick up a free ko into the raging bolt and now the king gambit comes back and is of course threatening the sucker punch we're going to Psychic. It does not go for Sucker Punch. It ends up going for Iron Head, and it's now at 20%. Our Great Tusk is able to come in and click Headlong Rush and Revenge it, and uh, does 20%. And then their Great Tusk comes in. We go for Headlong Rush, do 73% to their Great Tusk. And as you'll see here, they knock off our Choice Band. And that, yes, that's right. We were a Choice Band. Uh, looked incredible into this matchup. Very spammable moves. Azelf was the only real thing that could switch in. Uh, and even that, it takes like over half from close combat. So unless it's like running a defensive set, which did not look good here. So uh, Choice Band was uh, was a great bring here from Palkia. And uh, Headlong Rush is going to pick up the KO on the Great Tusk. We end up being faster. I'm not sure if this was a speed tie or not. Uh, but in, in, in any case, I think we won both. So uh, we're able to knock that out. Cinderace comes in to revenge us. We end up sacking Meow Scarada to the Pyro Ball and then going Tusk. Uh, and going for a headlong rush here as Swords, uh, Swords Dance comes out. Now, I think Close Combat was actually the better click here because uh, it covers like acrobatics, right? Any, any type that the Cinderace can switch into, essentially, Close Combat's going to hit. There's nothing that we're really too worried about. Um, and obviously, we would have picked up the KO right there unless they are Focus Sash. Exactly. Uh, and uh, Pyro Ball is going to knock us out here. But our last on the team is uh, my suggestion uh, to draft onto this team. The last one is a Terra Bastiodon. Obviously, we Terra'd uh, Latias, but we were also Terra on this. I forget what Terra we were. I'm going to check really quickly. Ground. Yes, it was Terra Ground. And uh, so we're going to easily tank this Pyro Ball. As you can see, it does 41% from plus two. Obviously, that's non-stab now, but uh, we are just going to revenge this with Body Press, easily knock it out, and that is going to be game four. So now we take a 3-1 lead in the series. Absolutely nothing can go wrong from here, right, guys? In any case, we'll be back tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, uh, show some love, leave a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying the series, what you think could be done better, and I will catch you guys for game five tomorrow. Peace.